7, this is the News at 10. I think it would be really helpful um, for parents as well as for children to have this option be made available cost free. Welcome to the News at 10. I'm Morgan Romero. The conversation surrounding all day kindergarten, its benefits and how lawmakers want it paid for are starting up again. This comes just two weeks ahead of a new legislative session. Our Tristan Lewis dives into this for us tonight. Tristan, talk around all day kindergarten has been going on for years in Idaho. So what's new? Morgan last year proposed House bill did not pass, even though there was strong support on both sides of the House. Lawmakers plan to bring the bill back in this new session, and they're eyeing some state funds to make this a reality. Really, it isn't new. This is a bill I've been working on for nine years. When it comes to kindergarten programs in the state of Idaho, District 18 Senator Janie Ward Ingleking says it's all over the place. It's really a mixed bag, and uh, that's the problem. Kinder programs vary by district. Some have passed property tax levies to fund all day programs for all students. Others only enroll at risk children. Some districts offer all day, but it's optional and they charge a tuition. What's happening then is we have children that are receiving full day optional kindergarten, and we have children that aren't either because they can't afford it or they can't afford to transport. Which she says is a fairness issue. We want kids to have a uniform, thorough um, education, and it's not uniform if some kids get it and some kids don't. A study from Bloom, a nonprofit education organization in Idaho, shows data from fall 2020 to spring 2021 that full-day kindergartners made more progress than partial-day students. All day students' Idaho reading indicator scores at first were in the 46th percentile and ended in the 52nd percentile, whereas half day students began the study in the 54th percentile and ended in the 52nd percentile. We saw that the students that take full day kindergarten catch up during that kindergarten year when they have more supports than the students that have partial day kindergarten and that it, it pays off in terms of them kind of catching up to that, that gap that's there before. Bloom's study shows a lot of progress is made in economically disadvantaged students. We know that if we get those kids that are struggling or if we get kids in the system early, we can make huge headway. And this is really a good twofer. I mean, this not only improves the education and performance of kids in the state, but it really would reduce people's property taxes because a lot of folks in the state are paying property tax levies right now to cover um, full day kindergarten. With the state of Idaho having a $1.6 billion budget surplus, lawmakers like House Minority Leader Alain Rubel are feeling hopeful heading into the 2022 session. If we can deliver property tax relief and better education outcomes, and we have the money to do it, it seems like excuses are running out. Bloom says another advantage to all-day kindergarten is to boost kids' confidence and social skills. Now, Senator Ward Ingleking estimates the cost to pay for optional all-day kindergarten is roughly 42 to $50 million. Morgan. Hmm, I know other states have this, Tristan. It may be about time. All right, thanks.